Okay, so today we're going to be installing an EvoTech radiator guard. Um, it's actually really hard for me to find this uh, here in New Zealand. I actually had to order this from um, Perth in Australia. It didn't really come with much. It comes with, it came in a bag, the guard itself, and then there's a whole lot of little little rubber offset grommet things. No instructions. <laughs> but from what I can see, obviously there's two fixing points each side and you can kind of see down inside here there's a couple of heads of bolts so we just need to, looks like we just take the shroud off, get to the bolts and then uh, try and figure out how this actually connects in with the grommets or what the grommets actually do. Okay, so it's a 4mm. Let's take this side off first and uh, see where it goes. feels real spongy, like it's coming through rubber or out of rubber. Must be some sort of dampening in there. Okay. There we go. So it's got a couple of clips just up in here that this comes up and off. Okay, and there's the two bolts that I was talking about. I guess that take those off, that peels away and get the radiator guard in there. Okay, it's a little 10 mil socket. Quite curious to see what the Oh, grommets are for. If I can figure that out, that is. I think I have an idea. I'll probably go in some of the holes as little standoffs for for it to push away from the radiator. I would say that's probably a very good guess. Just sort of woven in through there. And yeah, this is quite. I'm going to leave that woven through that actually. So I don't think that's going to help me get in there anymore. Yeah, so I just need to be able to tuck it in over that. So we'll get into the other side. This side's way more disconnected because it doesn't have the uh, the radiator uh, connections to the engine. You know, there's the one on that side, but this one here you've got all tied in with all of us. So yeah, the. I'm going to say that they go through these, you put one, two, three, one, two, three, just to keep it standing off the radiator. Yes, because there's one round one here, 
round. Yeah, that's what they're for. Definitely. So there's little round ones in amongst all the uh, hexagonals. Yep, that goes in there nice and easy. Sort of push them in and give them a bit of a twist and they just pop straight in. I have to say this is quite a nice, nice guard. Like I installed my, uh, I think it was an RNG, yeah, on my XSR 700. But this, this is, this feels a lot nicer. really hold it. It's getting it in their finger tight so I make sure it's heading in the right direction. <coughs> Don't want to screw the shit out of it and then strip the threads. Okay, so that needs to go up. Yeah, this slides a lot. Yeah, as simple as that. So you put it up and slide it down and it just clicks in. So I just start with it up and above and it slides down and clicks. And that's it. Yeah, they just keep the the guard off, but that looks way better. Well, if you like the video, do like and subscribe. Um, we will be doing a few little bits and pieces with this bike. I don't think a, a hell of a lot though at this stage, but this, this was high on my, on, uh, my important list, so I had to get it done. But uh, thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.